Today I'm going to talk about most common mistakes that you can make when you're going on your self-improvement journey. And one of these mistakes is that you want to do as many things as you can all at once. The problem is when you try to do all of the good habits that you didn't know before, that you didn't implement in your life, and you want to erase all of the bad habits that you already had, it's quite hard because you are not used to and you will probably give up after one week. And that is the biggest problem that you can make in your self-improvement journey. It was the same uh, with me when I tried to completely stop playing video games and when I tried to implement all of the things, all of the good things like meditation, reading, exercising, uh, healthy eating, when I tried to implement all of these things at once, it was very hard and I didn't last very long. So I decided that I will imp implement uh, every new thing. So I will implement meditation the next week. I will implement reading two weeks later. So every week I added one new stuff to this self-improvement list. That way it was much easier for me to implement one thing at a time each week and I also didn't start reading like the whole book in one week. I read like 10 pages one day, uh, 15 pages the next day and so on and on. And after I became good at this habit, I improved it to like reading one hour or two hours each day. So you need to start small, don't start big because you will fail on this journey. You must start slowly and improving each day implementing new things each week and you will see the progress that you make and you will feel much better if you start slowly than uh, being stressful of not seeing results or being too stressful of trying to do all the things at once. So this is the first uh, big thing that you have to be careful about self-improvement journey. Don't do everything at once. Go slowly. The second thing you must avoid on your self-improvement journey is setting unrealistic goals. I will lose 50 pounds at the end of this month. I will start going to the gym five times a week for one hour and a half. I will read three books in one week. By setting unrealistic goals, you set yourself for failure. Don't get me wrong, making big goals is amazing, but you must also divide them into smaller steps so you get a dopamine hit every time you complete a new step. And that way you will have much more willpower to actually continue on that journey to completing that goal. The third thing you must be careful about on your self-improvement journey is a lack of patience. You want to get a six pack now. You want to be healthy now. You want to have knowledge from 20 different books now. You must know that self-improvement takes time. Some things will take days, some things will take months, and some things will take even years to master. The fourth mistake that you can make is comparing yourself to others. I am watching a YouTuber named Hamza Ahmed, who already made, made big progress on his self-improvement journey. And sometimes I feel that I don't do as much as I could when I watched his videos. And sometimes we need to take a step back and compare our lives with our past lives. What progress did we make with self-improvement? How much better you are from last year? What did you accomplish in your last months? That is really the questions that you must ask yourself and you can only compare yourself with your past self. Thank you guys for sticking up to the end of the video. I hope that you learned something new and I also hope that you will avoid these mistakes in the future. If you want to say anything else about this topic, you can write it down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you all the best on your journey to better self. Bye.